What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, it is finally time to actually... What? What is it? Oh yes, it is finally time to go to the gym, get a good workout in, kick that Lucha Libre star's ass, and then get ourselves another badge. That's right guys, it is finally time to take on Crash for Wake, and uh, by the look of everything, it looks like to me it is a water type gym. Yes it is. And, well, of course, this guy is actually telling us what it is. Yeah, look at that. Water everywhere. It looks like a big-ass swimming pool. And the way you go around this is just by pressing the button. So, first is first, we're going to be battling everybody. Just destroying everybody. That's right. I'm going to destroy you first, little tuber Jackie. In your beaverill. Your, your, your beaver-looking Pokemon with my toothless right here. That's right. I'm going to destroy you. And then I'm going to make you cry. Sending you home crying to your mama. Anywho, in our last few episodes, we actually took side quests to go to the Pokemon Mansion and, uh, what was it, the Trophy Garden and all that stuff. Oh yeah, and don't forget Route 212. And then, having you guys yell at me for not knowing what Dawnstone was, yeah, that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, you guys are still asking me, when am I going to evolve my Gaia number 2 since I already have the Dawnstone? It's very simple, guys. Once Gaia learns Psychic Attack, which would probably be at level 31, then, bam! It will evolve. That's right, guys. I promise you that. Pinky promise. I am actually showing a pinky promise right now, so... Yeah, that's right. So, we defeated this guy right here, and, uh, let's see. I'm just gonna, let's see, switch up my Pokemon. Again, this place is a water-type gym, so the best way to go about this is go through using a water-type, or not a water-type, my bad. Using a grass-type and an electric-type, and I only have one of those. And, uh, well, I gotta get through this area right here. Ah, look at that. And here we have a fisherman telling us that he can defeat us because of the power of water. Okay, I can do this. I don't know if you don't notice this, but, uh, I did defeat... <clears throat> yeah, I did defeat Misty. And, uh, and, uh, Fernando, I think? Is that his name is? What was that? Okay, so what was that... Yeah, the, what was that? The Hoenn gym leader's name. The one that the teacher that replaced uh, Wallace. Oh, yeah, and I defeated Wallace, too, so suck it. And crap. Yeah, my uh, my good old Gaia number two really probably does need to evolve right now, but I won't be doing that right now. As you can see, Wishcash, the ground and water type Pokemon. Best way to beat that guy? Through this guy. Grass type Pokemon. And uh, Wishcash, looking like a million bucks using that magnitude seven. Will it work? Not really. It's just a glo- To me, it's like a glorified, uh, earthquake attack. It really is. And, uh, look at that. Mega Drain. That's right. How does that feel? Doesn't feel so good, right? That's right. Sending you home crying to your mama. And, uh, would you look at that. Donatella grows to level 35, which is also good. And, uh, Walter's been defeated right there. Okay, so, let's see. I gotta- I gotta do the essentials right here, guys. I gotta, I gotta wake up my uh, my guy at number two. It's been taking a lot of L's, and uh, I gotta heal him too. Oh yeah, don't forget toothless. Uh, you know, well yeah, while I'm at it, I should probably do that. So, not really. You know what? I'm gonna be switching up my Pokemon right here. Um, okay, so let's go with Hydra number four. It does have an electric type move, and pressing this button right here. Switches up the landscape, and uh, let's see, it will actually allow me to go right here. And we got ourselves a uh, navy guy or something? Can't remember what it was? Yeah, yeah it's some navy guy. It really is some navy guy. Uh, oh, yeah, Sailor Damien, and he's coming out with his wingle, and uh, you don't scare me. You really don't. That's right, because I got the intimidate. Mm -hmm. That's right. Alright, so here we go with the thunder, but this guy uses quick attack. We all know what quick attack does first. And uh, here we go. That's right. Thunder attack. Defeat Twingle, and uh... Look at that, I'm just growing, growing, and growing. And he's coming out with the evolved form, Clipper. And uh, this guy right here. Okay. Looking a little tanky from the mouth side, but here we go again with another thunder attack. And look at that. Oh yes. Oh, yes. That's a victory for us right there, guys. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, okay. So that's the end of Sailor Damien right there. And yes, I am a truly tough class. To top class tough. That's right. That's like a tongue twister right there. And, uh, okay. So we're filling up the whole thing. Battled you. And, uh, oh, we got another Pokemon trainer right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. 
And uh, I'm gonna go with Starblade because Starblade's pretty awesome right now. And uh, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. Battling this person, looking pretty awesome. And uh, she's coming out with her Azuril. Oh, baby Pokemon. Okay. Would have respected you a little more if it was Azumarill. But, you know. Yeah, you like your you cute Pokemon. And yeah, sometimes the evolve form are. They're, they're probably not that cute. And here we go. Fly attack. Charm attack. Here we go. Fly attack. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And uh, would you look at that. Azuril defeated. Mm hmm. Feeling dang good about that. Okay, so who's next? Oh, she's coming out with a marrow. Okay, so she's got the evolved forms right here. Okay. Alrighty, let's do this. Here we go. Fly attack again. Starblade looking like a million bucks. Ah, that's right. And uh, there's that Aqua Ring. Now, when a water type Pokemon uses Aqua Ring, especially in the rain, that actually, you know, heals it up just a little bit more. And uh, oh, there's that rollout that we've been somewhat fearing. And. Uh, Let's see, Aqua Ring restored a little bit of its HP right there. And uh, luckily there's not a lot of water around us. We're like on the deck of a pool or something. And look at that. That's right, Meryl has been defeated. Oh yes. And uh, well, she's coming out with a Zoomer ult. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. I'm gonna be using this homeboy right here, Donatello. Some of you guys have been asking. So if I use another turtle Pokemon, will I be naming it another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle name? Maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to figure out what the other tur uh, other turtle, turtle Pokemon are. So if you guys already know, comment down below so I can get a good idea about it. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I could potentially have it on my next walkthrough. And if you guys are wondering what the next walkthrough is, it's Pokemon Black. That's right. Redemption Tour. That's right. So here we go. Earthquake Attack. Oh, yes. That's a bye-bye right there. That is bye-bye. Just like, uh, what was it? NSYNC said it. That's right. Bye-bye-bye. I can't play the song right here because I don't want to get blocked right now. And look at that. Guy number two grows to level 28. Very, very good. Alrighty. Okay. All right. So moving on right here. I th oh, there's another trainer right there. Huh. Okay. Well, this gym has a lot of trainers for water-type gym. But then again, there was Wallace's gym. Or... Oh, I just remembered his name. Juan. His name was Juan. My bad, guys. Wow. Where did I come up with Fernando? Do not know. So here we go. Secret power. Yeah, well, it does its thing. And there's that flail attack. Okay, all right. Flail attack. Looking like that. And here we go again. Secret power. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, let's see. Is there anything else right here? No, he's coming out with his own Gyarados. So what I'm going to do right here now is I'm going to be switching it up to my Gyarados because my Gyarados is the top Gyarados of all the land. Of course, this is my fourth Gyarados. Third blue one, you know. And we're both intimidating us. So we're an even playing field. Are we or are we not? We shall see. So here we go. Thunder attack for the win. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Say goodbye. That's right. Oh, dang. Gyarados. Oh, damn. Okay. So let's see, let's go with the bite attack. See if that wins. And it does. Oh yeah. Okay, alrighty. Good experience points right there. And he's coming out with a Sea King, so I think I'm gonna give that to uh, uh to Donatello to, or Donatello, I mean yeah, Donatello right here. And uh well, let's see, who is next right here? Sea King. Now it, again, I'm gonna be asking this cheesy ass question. Now, if a Sea King were to be a female, would you call it a Sea King or a Sea Queen? Comment down below, guys. And, uh, well, look at that. Mega Drain does its job right there. Pretty good. Very, very good. And, uh, well, that is pretty much it for Fisherman Eric. Yeah, you are not the top water type Pokemon trainer in the world. You're not. All right, let's press this green button right there. And it drains some of this water. And, uh, I believe... If you do this, yeah, you drain that, and uh, probably shouldn't have done that. Maybe. Oh no, wait. That's a good. Idea. That's that's a good thing. Okay. So we're on the bottom floor right here, and I think. Okay, I'm going up right here. Have to battle this guy. 
I think it's one more trainer before we even battle the gym leader right here. So I'm going to switch it out to Toothless right here. And uh, before I battle Toothless, I'm going to have to heal this guy up too. Don't want him to uh, to lose so prematurely right there. And uh, here we go. This guy is uh, like the Raging Sea. He's going to crash down on me. Whatever. I like how they I like how they try to intimidate me with their their in their their uh, metaphors, their water metaphors, but really they can't. Because I am unbreakable. Like 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 a bamboo stick. Are bamboo sticks unbreakable? I wanna know that. And uh, that slash attack does something, but this guy comes out with a supersonic. Dick move man, dick move. So let's go right ahead and use that confusion attack. <laughs> oh crud. Oh, crud. Okay, so, let's see. He's coming out with a water pulse. That could... Nah, okay. Dragon attack. Completely forgot. Okay, so let's go with the slash attack. Yes! No more confusion. Here we go. That's right. How does that feel? Okay. Alrighty. And, uh, let's see. He's coming out with a Shellos. So I'm just gonna stay right here. And Shellos is a rock type or a ground type? Can't remember. It was one of those two. So it is... Uh... Okay, so I don't really have the move for it, but I'm going to be doing this right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, there's that water pulse attack that I've been wearing. Okay. Alrighty. So, now we are... Yeah, we're confused, and yeah, we got to switch out our Pokemon. This is not looking like a... Yeah. Not looking like a good one right now. And so, what we're going to do right now is... Go to Donatello, and this guy's gonna be using his water pulse. Hopefully, this doesn't just confuse me. And uh, no, it doesn't. So, here we go Mega Drain for the win. Oh, yeah. That's right. Destroys him. Doesn't really destroy you, but you know what I mean. And so, that is pretty much it right there for that guy. So, he's gonna come out with another Shellos, I believe. No, come out with Golduck. So. Let's go ahead and uh, stay with him. Fun fact. I don't know if this is true or not. But I believe the Golduck, uh, the Psyduck Golduck thing was supposed to be reversed. This Pokemon right here that is Golduck is supposed to be Psyduck. While the other one was supposed to be Golduck. I don't know what changed. I, If you guys can comment down below give me the facts, that would be great. You know, little, cool little factoids. That way people can learn uh, a little bit more. You know, I'm learning every single day with Pokemon, which is cool. And, uh, good god, Water Pulse confuses me. And, uh, crud. Yep. Oh, yeah, I am confused. So, I'm gonna have to switch this one out right here. And, uh, look at that. Water Pulse again. Oh, god. Why are you so mean to me? Seriously. So, there we go. Earthquake attack. Hopefully, for the win. Does it do it? Will it do it? Finish him off? Yes, it does. Say goodbye to Golduck. That's right. How does it feel to win? Or to fail? And that is how you do it, buddy. That is how you do it. Oh, yeah. Oh! And uh, look at that. Pressing that again, and no, we still got one more trainer. Good God. Man, you got a lot of trainers. Okay, so let's see. We're just going to... Yeah, we're gonna heal up our Pokemon, and then after that... Well, uh... Let's see, I think I might be switching my Toothless right here. I want to, but then... Eh, you know, yeah, I can give him another chance. So I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion on this guy. And then, uh... Well, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I gotta get a quick victory. So let's go ahead and switch out Toothless with my Star Blade. And let's go right ahead and battle this... Wait, did I already battle him? I think I, oh yeah, I, well wait, did I? Yeah, I did. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with guy number two. Here we go. Welcome, Den Nun. He doesn't get challenged often, and his name is Crasher Wake. He has been toughened by the white waters and all that stuff. He used to be a professional wrestler, kind of like Brock Lesnar, but Brock Lesnar retired him. So here we go. Our next gym battle, and it is up against Crasher Wake right here. Look at that guy. Looking like Vader. He's looking like Vader. He looks more like Vader. Holy crap. So here we go. Going up against a Gyarados. And, uh, oh, crud. Guy at number two looks like it's going to be outmatched. He looks outmatched. And uh, luckily for, you know, Gaia's uh, trace effect, it intimidates this Gyarados. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add to that little intimidate. And I'm just going to go with Hydra number four right here. And, uh, yeah, that's right. 
Now your attack has been cut into half, so what is this bike going to do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So here we go. Thunder attack. Oh, yes. Thunder attack. Come on. Finish him off. Dang it. Okay, so this guy survives, but he comes out with a waterfall attack, which... Well, we still don't have waterfall. Even as I'm, uh... Even as I'm doing, like, I'm, I'm doing the, the, the walkthroughs behind the scenes, yes, yeah, still don't have waterfall attack. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's funny. That's that's really, really funny. Okay, so, Lexi. I'm going to go again with the thunder, and that missed crud. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and do this again. Thunder, and it does work this time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So there we go. Thunder does its job, finished you off. That's right. And Gaia number two grows to level 29. Now, this is the part where I need to actually take away the experience share and actually, yeah, and put in the Everstone and then, you know, make it grow one or two more levels right here. So, here he comes out with a Quagsire, both a ground and water type Pokemon. So this is the this is actually where you need your grass type Pokemon. And uh, here we go with the Mega Drain. And uh, would you look at that? Oh yes, that's right. Finishing you off right now. No, it hasn't finished him off. All right, so there's that Water Pulse attack and a Crud. Okay, so here we go. And this guy healing up his Pokemon like usual. Seriously, man? Come on, just let me win. Please, let me just win. And here we go. Mega Drain. Oh, yes. That's right. This Quagsire has nothing on me. Doesn't even have any anything on my Quagsire. You know, Lucky from a Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Crystal. That's right. It's been a while. It's been a year. Good God. So there we go. Mega Drain for the win. How about that? How about that? That's right. Victory. Donatello. And here he comes out with the Float Zone. Now, Float Zone here is a... It's a quick little Pokemon right here. Look at that. And he's like, yeah, good move and all that stuff. So I'm going to keep my Donatello, and I'm just going to try and hurt Float Zone as much as I can. As you can see, Quick Law is actually working on it. And then here we go with an Earthquake attack. Oh, yes. Time to finish you off. Will it finish it off? Oh, no. It takes half of its uh, HP. And this guy has a berry, and uh, okay, okay, okay. So he's gonna be using his ice fang. So that right there is good coverage. And uh, okay, Donatello is losing a lot of HP right there. So we gotta finish this guy off pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, he almost hit us with another ice fang. That would have been the end of us right there. But here we go, Mega Drain does its thing. Goodbye, Floatzel. Oh yeah. And that is how you win a Pokemon battle, guys. That is how you win. Hell yeah. Look at that. Experience points up the butt. And we defeated Crash Awake for another gym badge right there. Wow. How long did it take us to get this many gym badges back when I first started this? Back in the day. Look at that. The Fen badge. Oh yeah. Okay. So that's another badge right there. And this will actually let us learn Surf outside of battle. And we get ourselves a TM55, which I believe is the... What is it? Yes, Brine. It is Brine. Yeah, that's right. It's Brine. It's a pretty good move. Don't want to explain it, but it's a very good move. Anywho, we're going to be moving on right here. Hmm. You know what? We're going to be stopping right here because after defeating Crash Awake, there's going to be a little bit of an event happening outside of the gym once you step outside. So, yeah, buddy. We won ourselves another badge. Um... Feels good. Wait, actually, you know what? We're gonna do this right now. Okay, so we stepped outside, and uh, gravy. And here we have uh, this douchebag right here. And uh, well, there's Crash Awake. He's happy, and you know, he's like, "Whoa, what's this rack of oh you two right here?" And uh, well, <laughs> Barry's calling him master. He's like, "I know your father, but I don't ever recall you calling or uh, calling you an apprentice." He wants like he hates him just as much as I do. I'm starting to like Crash Awake. Yeah, so apparently there's a Team Galactic uh, goon in the observatory uh, area, and uh, there's something going on right there. And uh, I guess Crash Awake is going to go take care of him, and uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to be, uh, yeah, I'm just going to be right here. I'm going to stay right here, and I'm going to show you guys my new badge. Look at that. We got ourselves four, wait, no, we got five badges. Holy crap, okay, so we got four, five badges. 
And uh, yeah, we got three more to go. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we'll be continuing this adventure. See you guys.